Hi. Today I'll teach you a trick that will open up a whole world of opportunities for you. I'll show you how to pick up a static SVG image from sites like pixabay.com and make it into an animated image like this and ensure that the image moves so it really attracts the viewer's attention. I'll give you another example of picking up a static SVG image like this and make it into a meaningful animation that tells a powerful story like this which is like three reasons to save i'll also show you another example of picking up another static svg image like this from pixabay and make it into something as interesting as this where we discuss five bright ideas the best part is once you understand the basic logic of this idea you would be able to pick up a lot of different svg images from various places and make them into animated images to tell powerful stories in your powerpoint animation slides Along the way I'll share a whole bunch of small but useful techniques that will really help you become much better in PowerPoint animation so watch every bit of this video slowly try to follow along and take your PowerPoint skills to the next level if you're not able to follow any particular instruction please replay that section and watch it again because I'll try to make it as easy for anyone to understand while I'm using PowerPoint 365 for this demonstration But for the first slide where I would be using morph animation the rest of them use simple animation that you can use in any powerpoint version so let us jump right in but before that I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com the creator of comprehensive all in one powerpoint bundle a collection of more than 4500 premium animated powerpoint templates that help you create beautiful and engaging presentations in minutes the first example is this moving image Let us go to pixabay.com. I will provide a link to this image in the description box below the video. You can download the SVG version and you can follow along. All you need to do for that is go to the specific image, go to download and say vector graphic SVG format and say download. Then you can access the download folder, copy it onto a blank slide like this, then right click, go to convert to shape. Now I am going to hold control and shift button so I can increase the size like so and I am going to place this to one side. Now all we need to know is how do we make this hand move from one position to another so we can point it to three different points. So the first thing I am going to do is to create a duplicate so we don't lose the original. Then let me use a simple line. You can go to lines and you can use either this one called freeform scribble. or you can use the curve tool it doesn't really matter i'm going to use free form scribble and i'm going to cut the hand out i know it sounds a bit gory but then this is only an svg image so i'm going to draw around this and you can see that i've completed the shape then let us select the picture first hold the shift button down and then select this shape then you go to merge shapes which you can see from shape format merge shapes and say shape fragment When you do that this is the result you can remove this unnecessary portion you can move this a little inside so now we have our first image this is exactly the same as the one to the left but then if you try to move like this you can see that it will not be very natural so i'm going to use a simple technique now let me make a copy of this by holding the control button i clicked and dragged and then make a duplicate by pressing control d Let us flip this horizontally. You can do that by going to arrange, rotate and say flip horizontal. All these are fairly simple ones. Then I am going to rotate this so this matches the point where the hand is shown. Can you see here? I have ensured that both are more or less aligned. So these two pieces will now act as one single piece if I group So let me select this hold the shift button down and select this and press control G to group it. Now when I move this you can see that the movement is happening far more accurately. Now right click go to format shape go to fill and say transparencies 100% so it is not visible. Now I'm going to place this on top of the previous one. Send this to back and then the earlier piece that was there I'm just going to delete. So now we have this image with the ghost hand and this will be our first image so i am going to take this i am going to delete this out so let us have this to one side and then i can have my text here 
Now of course this person is floating in the air so I'm going to use a simple rectangle in grey color so that provides a floor. So let us go to shape fill and give this light grey color. Right click send this to back. You can go to shape outline say no outline. Now this person is grounded and maybe I can move this a little to the left. Now this first image is done. Now let me create a duplicate of the slide. Then have this hand rotate. So I'm going to use this rotation handle and then rotate the hand like so and then place it a little bit to the left like so and we are going to create a duplicate of this and then place it just so it is able to point to the right place. Right click and send this to back and we will change this to number two. Now let us create a duplicate of this slide and then move this handle a little down so it points to another place and let us move this a little to the left so it looks a little bit more natural and then we will have another one created here and then we will call this number three. Now let us go to second and third while holding the shift button down go to transitions and say morph transition. Now when I go to slideshow the first slide looks like this now on a click you can see that the hand moves and points to the second point and then the hand moves and points it to the third point. Isn't that beautiful? It is nothing but a simple SVG image. We just cut the hand out and added a bit of animation to make this image come to life. Now let me show the second demonstration. This is the SVG image. The link will be in the description. Go to download the same way you can download vector graphic SVG image. Even if you want to search in pixabay.com you can do so. Search for a piggy bank and you will get this image. Let me create a new slide. Let me paste this on the slide. Right click convert to shape. You can also go to group and say ungroup and you say yes. And then do that a couple more times so everything is clearly ungrouped. Now we have a hand. We have this coin. And we have this opening to put money into the piggy bank. Now there are a couple of small adjustments I'm going to make. The first one is I'm going to select the piggy bank first. Hold the shift button down and select this opening which is nothing but a simple rectangle that they have drawn. Go to merge shapes and of course as I told you before shape format merge shapes. I've got that available here in quick access toolbar. So I can save some time. I can go here and say shape subtract. Now you can see that we don't have that rectangle floating out. This is a simple shape. Now I'm going to create a duplicate of this. And in this, just observe what I'm going to do. Let us go to Auto Shapes Gallery, pick up a oval tool, and then I'm going to draw an oval like this. And then I'm going to cut that bit out of this piggy shape. So I'm going to select this pig, hold the shift button down, and then select this shape that we had just drawn. Go to merge shapes and say shape subtract. Now why did I do this? If I move this coin down and have it land in the stomach of this pig, you can see that the coin is visible. Now since I created this shape, I can bring it to the front and I can place it right on top of the previous one. Now you can see that coin is not visible anymore. Now I can select this. You can see that the coin comes out exactly from inside. So as it goes inside, it goes pretty nicely into the stomach of this uh, piggy bank. Now we don't really need this piece. Let us delete that. Now that is exactly what we are trying to do here. For now, let us move everything to one side like this. And let us take the same shape that we had used earlier to create a floor and send this to back. And then let us pull that coin out so we can keep it right out here. And then we will have this hand drop that coin. So I'm going to keep this somewhere like this. And let us have this in black color so it looks more professional. Go to shape outline and say no outline. Now we are going to have this hand come in along with the coin. So we are going to select both of these. Go to animations and have them float in. So that is our first animation and the direction is float down. So now the hand and the coin have entered the scene. The next one is for this to go into the piggy bank. So we are going to add an animation. We have already got one animation to this one. So we need to add another animation. So let us go here and say lines in the motion paths. So it is going down into the piggy bank. 
Now we need to extend this, hold the shift button down and then extend this all the way so it goes into the pit of this piggy bank. Done. So the second step is done. Go to animation pane and say that this would happen after previous. The first animation can happen a little bit faster, maybe 0.5 seconds. And the second animation can happen maybe around say one second. So the second action is done. So the first one is it enters the scene, then it drops the coin. Now we need to have this hand leave the scene. So I'm going to add animation and say this would say fly out to the left and this happens after previous. So the hand comes in, drops the coin and leaves. While this happens, we are going to have our text appear. I'm just going to use some of these text elements that I had built earlier. So I'm just going to place them over here. We will have the first one reveal itself by going to wipe and from left and this happens with previous. So observe the animation. The hand and the coin are entering the scene with a simple float in animation and then the coin is being dropped into the piggy bank and the hand goes out. While that happens, the text is revealing itself. Just observe. This is what is happening. Now all we need to do is to repeat the same thing. We will select this, press Ctrl D. So we have created another instance of this hand coming and dropping the coin and we are going to place this right on top of the previous one. And at that time, we are going to have this one wipe from left, right with previous. So we've got, we have created the second animation quite nicely. We are going to do the exact same thing. We are going to take these elements, press Ctrl D and then place it right on top of the previous one and then Along with it, we are going to have this wipe from left and this happens with previous. Now, the last thing we need to do is you can see that this piece here, which is covering the coins, we need to have that cover all the other ones as well. So we are going to right click and bring it to front. Now we can go to slideshow and here is the animation. On a click, we have a hand that comes and then drops the coin. First reason to save. Then another hand comes second reason to save, another hand comes and the third reason to save. It looks so natural and all of it was got from a static image that we picked up from pixabay.com which looked nothing this exciting when we took it. Let me close this and the final animation is this one where I'm going to make each of these bulbs glow. It's a very simple thing. Go to download vector graphic SVG image. Let us add a new slide. Let us paste this image right click convert to shape then right click go to group and say ungroup and here we have the background we don't really need this background so we are going to use our own background format background and make this into say this dark gray color now there is one interesting trick that is going to be shown here and that is first let us have this all ungrouped to the maximum extent possible ungroup and now what is that we got? We have these bulbs and then the lines. Let us ungroup this one more time. So we have these bulbs also ungrouped. So this is how each of them get nicely ungrouped. So we have this circle. Now you would notice that some of these circles are not complete and therefore we cannot fill it with a color. Now, how are we going to solve this? It's very simple. Let us go to press Ctrl Z so I can place it back exactly where it is. I'm going to right click on this curve, go to edit points, then right click again and say close path. Now observe how the shape is complete. Can you see here? The circle is complete. We are going to do the same thing for this one as well. You can see that it is not complete. All you need to do is right click, go to edit points, right click and say close path. You do the same thing for the remaining ones as well. It is a very simple process. So we are able to have all these shapes nicely fillable. I think this one is already now, even this is not full. So I'm going to edit points and this one is close path. So we have these five shapes available. Maybe I can increase the thickness of this a little bit more. So go to weight and say one and a half points. Now all the lines are proper. Now all we need to do is to add a couple of animations to make these lights glow. The first animation I'm going to add is to select each of them and then say animations and I'm going to make them pulse. So that is how they are going to pulse. Let us go to animation pane and the duration is 0.5 seconds. Let us have this for 0.25 seconds and let us all have that on click. 
Now let us add another animation. Let us select all of these shapes. Then go to add animation. Remember we already have the pulse animation added to it. So we need to go to add animation. And this time I'm going to have fill color done. Go to effect options and use this orange color for fill. And this needs to happen for just 0.5 seconds. And this would happen with previous. All right. So let us move each one of these to the corresponding previous animation. So we have got all these animations shown. When I go to slideshow, you can see on a click, it flickers and glows, flickers, glows, flickers, glows. So that is how we are introducing each of these points. Now, you know the drill. Every time this happens, right after that or with that, we can have one of the points introduced. To save some time, I've just copied the text that I had already created. You can see all I had done is add a simple entrance animation of wipe from left. The first animation is going to happen right after the first bulb close. So we are going to move this right next to that. And then the second one happens right after the second bulb close. So we are going to move this to this. So that is how we are going to add the corresponding animation. So this text reveals as soon as the glow happens. So when you go to slideshow, this is how the initial slide looks. And then on a click, it flickers, glows, and we have the text introduced. Flickers, glows, and the second text, third text, the fourth text, and the fifth text. Can you see the limitless possibilities of this simple idea? All you need to do is to go to a site like pixabay.com and then see how you can apply animation and bring static images to life. For example, in this image, I can see that there are questions and then answers given to those questions. I can have my text here for question and my text for the answer. And I can have these question marks pop out of this person's head they can come from inside and then they can come over here and I can have the answer pop out and I will have the answer revealed. So this static image now becomes a beautiful animated image. I can go down and uh, let us see another one. You can see that there is this beautiful Christmas string lights available. I can just add an animated circle here of a different color and have that appear on a click and suddenly the static string lights would now be animated. So it is all up to your imagination to convert these static images into beautiful animated images in PowerPoint because PowerPoint is that powerful and not only vector images, you can even have photos like this animated and watch this video next where I show you how to create light glow animation effect in PowerPoint where I just picked up this image from pixabay.com and made these lights glow on a click. It's pretty much the extension of the same idea, but then demonstrated in a different way. So go ahead, click on the link that you see right now on your screen and watch that video to extend your knowledge about using this trick. I'll see you inside that video.